Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is going on? I'm your host for this evening. My name is Lance Shark Rose, and this is your first time tuning in or coming back to the Pokemon Scarlet series. I want to welcome you guys in. I hope you guys enjoy the video that we have for you today. Also, side note, I always thought that Golduck was water psychic. Turns out he's just plain water, which is actually kind of crazy to think about, you know? But now we can go see the gym leader, and now that we have all of our stuff here we have all of our um abilities with karate on we can see that it's literally right there so we're just gonna fly on over we're in castle castle right now and our pokemon do need to rest all right we're tired we are tired of the two minutes that we were running all right just trust the process we're gonna swap out Golduck for Swirly because obviously, Swirly. <laughs> I mean, it's Swirly because Swirly is gonna be out here collapsing the Doonies. Um, and we're gonna see how this goes. I don't even think we need to talk to anybody. I think we can run up this wall. I hope we can run up this wall. Can we? Yes, we can. Let's go, boys. All right. Now, let's see what test we have for us today. Oh, here we go. Volton Vel Veluza, I'm late, I'm late. Oh! Oh! That's the gym leader! Ah, Kofu, wait! Oh, no, boys. Oh, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, maybe I can return it to him. Oh, hey, you're a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew, of course you are. That big man that just left is Kofu, leader of the Kazafara gym. He, ha he has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. You've been in big trouble without it. There, That's where you come come in, kind gym challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Noise. So, is this the test? Is that I hope this is the test, because if this is not the test, I won't be a little upset. Oh, look, it's a Venonat! Oh, let's go. It is the gym test. Let's go, boys. He went out to the desert? Vault and Veluza, where? Where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Oh, no. Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. I'll, it'll get bought up by someone else. Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buying. If you think you're about trying to interrupt him, then I, I, his best friends, will have to stop you. Too important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe a batter will shut your mouth. How about, you know, you treat me with some respect, all right? Because I'm Landshark Rosa, a.k.a. the Glizzy Giver, all right? Don't try to talk to me like that. Don't get the stepping. Float zone. Oh my god. Yo, imagine if he's like level 60. Oh, oh my god, you're gonna get folded. Get out. Of, you're done. Send them back to the cleaners. Get them out of here. You know what? I could have sent out Palmy. Palmy would have even been better to do. Clauncher? I forgot what level. I mean, I forgot what type Clauncher is. Check this out. Check this out. You're gone. Mm, you're dead. Mm. All right. Sorry, Hugo. You're going. Shucks, I let old man Kofu down. You know what's crazy, though? That's what I like about this Pokemon game, since it's open world, is that you can just skip some parts. Like, I didn't need to run through all throughout Asado Desert because I've been to the port. You know what I mean? But Pomi's evolving. Let's see what Palmy turns into. <laughs> Palmy evolved into Palmo. Let's go, Palmo. What's goody, baby? Palmo wants to learn arm thrust? Uh, sure. Get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of... Yeah, I'm gonna give it of Thunder Shock. Actually, I'm gonna give it of Thunder Shock. I feel like I should have got rid of Dig, but it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. 
I ain't crying about it. I ain't lying about it. I just kept working my ass. Hey, stop, stop right up and tell me what's all the ruckus about. Don't worry, Kofu. Old man Kofu seems this kid got something to say to you. What's that now? Customer here for a little walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? Wow. My wallet. Say what now? My lobby staff is sending you out here to bring it to me? That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. You already know I got you. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice too. We hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at the Porto Miranda auction that we really have to get our hands on. So, as you can imagine, we were both worked up to find out I forgot in my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item, the booty. No. The booty, Jinx. Feast your eyes on the main event. I have him here, the legendary Wakame Seaweed of the Hoenn Region. Woo, Gen 3, baby, my favorite. Legendary Wakame Seaweed of the Hoenn Region. Do I have any takers? Wow. I need to get me some of that. I'm guessing he's a cook. He's got to be a cook. Got to be. Now, listen, kid. If you want to challenge me at the Castle Fire Gym, you're going to need some smart. And this is the perfect place to touch it. Get the winning bid on the seaweed for this old man. So we just got an auction seaweed. Are you? Well, we just got some bread. Yo, sell us, bro. They ain't ready for me. They ain't ready for me. Make the winning bid at the auction sale. Us, I'm gonna I'm do it, bro. I'm gonna I'm go for broke. I'm going for broke. I'm using all of this man's money right now. I ain't even worried about it. Bid ten thousand. Fifteen. All right. All right. Twenty-five. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right. Yo, give me that 35. Give me that 35. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. They weren't ready for me. Give me that Hoenn seaweed, bro. Give me that exotica. That za. That Hoenn za, baby. Stop it. That was amazing. You put those grown up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. These seaweeds are great catch. I'd be feeling low as the seabed if I failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. Wow, Kofu, you're a goat. You can you can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alrighty, I'm going to head back to Castle Faro Gym now. Oh, my Kofu's going to prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. Why can't I just battle you here, bro? Why am I moving about? Why are we just moving left and right, man? Come on, man. Up and down, round and round. I passed, though. So now I'm going to have to go fight him. But I like the designs, though. You know, you can see the Shelda, the Dragalji, the Meryl, the... Oh, my God. I know that Pokemon by... K Braxix? Is that Braxix? And I think that's the baby version of Dragalji. I forgot what it's called, though. All right. So, we're going back to Casafara, which that is not Casafara. That is the different region. So, we are going to go back to Casafara. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I do apologize, y'all. Well, hello there, Landrick. It's Hassel. What's going on, Hassel? What's going on, Hassel, Daddy? You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. Yes, sir. What's this now? Is that the kid I've been hearing so much about? Who's this? What up, homie? Hey, kiddo. I heard you're, like, way too good at battling. Yeah? Not that good, but I'm amazing. I'm immaculate. If you haven't forgotten, my name is Landshark Rosa. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you guys would. <laughs> you got some spirit, big shot. This young lady would be Rika. Or Rika? That's me, Rika, here at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. She's a little partial, uh, shall we say. But like myself, she's a member of the Elite Four. That's great. So we've got two members already that we saw. And then the gym champion, Go Gita. Gita. Anyways, <laughs> Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun, like, interesting at a glance, anyway. Naturally, he's one of our academy's esteemed students. Ooh, ha. Yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? Stop calling me kiddo, bro. I'm a grown man. Even though I'm 12. You know how many Titans I fought? Five. Crazy. Best of fortunes to you. Appreciate your hustle. Come kiss me. 
Anyways, um, so now that that's over, we get to fight the- Yo, hold on! Why is Shorty kicked out? I mean, anyways. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Blanchard, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. I did. I did. I appreciate you, pa you know, letting me pass the gym test. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Kofu, the surging chef? Yes. Yes, I am. Also, y'all, question of the day, y'all. Question of the day. Who was the toughest gym leader that you guys faced? I gotta say, for me, it's one or two people. I think it's Marlene. I think her name is Marlene. From Brilliant Diamond, the fighting gym leader. She was a pain, especially with her Lucario. And I gotta say Whitney from Gold uh, Soul Silver and... What is it? Is it Soul Silver? It's Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Hard. Both of those two, hard. <laughs> for no reason. I would be honored if you would try the new iron from my restaurant menu as well. Sorry, everybody. I've got some business to take care of as a gym leader real quick. I'm keeping someone waiting. You see, please forgive me. I need to do this first. Wow. Kofu is the man of the people. Look at him. Look at my man, Kofu. This man. This man's going places. Hey, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porto Miranda. Mar I feel like I'm saying that wrong. And now that I've got the legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. Yes, sir. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. Why not? <laughs> Why not? At the auction, we, we battle with buying and selling. At the gym, we actually battle with our hands. Put up, run the mitts. Um, sir, you're full of course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. <laughs> All right, come on, Kofu. Let's get it. Veluza? Yo, Veluza is a loser. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. All right. Oh, he has Mold Breaker. I did not know that this guy had Mold Breaker. But that's okay, because check this out. You're going. See you later, skater. <laughs> like, see you later, uh, skater. All right. Who's next? No, we don't need that. Why is there a sandstorm? What's going on here? Walk tree. Oh, is it because we're next to the desert? Is that is that why there's a sandstorm? All right, walk trio. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out, walk trio. Goodbye. We're just folding. We're literally folding, people. Actually, no, I don't need to. The tides ebb and flow. It's time for a raging tidal surge. Crab, Crabonimal? I think he's ice. Either way. Oh, yeah, no, he's something else. He's either got to be fighting, flying, or uh, he's or ice. It's one of the three. But I'm just going to use flower trick. Even if he just goes plain water, he's thin. He's not going to kill me. Unless he has some magical move. He's like, you know what, fam, check this out. Check this out. Sheer cold. <laughs> like, sheer cold. 100% accuracy. You're gone. Even though it has 30. You get what I mean. Check this out. And goodbye. What did you think was going to happen, bro? What did you think was going to happen? Cups that are rosé. All right. Volton, Veluza, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. Yeah, if I do say so myself. And we got some prize money, too. Come on now. Don't, don't. Stop it. Stop it. A loss as refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just a little helpless like Magikarp to you, eh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. You got me good, I tell you. What a great catch you are. 
Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second and re reeled in victory. Yes, sir. Now it's time to hand over your gym badge. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. We don't did it. Look at that. Guess who's back? Namona. As always. Gotta love Namona, right? Gotta love her. Oh, I saw you going to the gym and I came on. Unless I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong. I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Then again, I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. What do you say? Are you serious, bro? No, Mona, get out of here, bro. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. I don't know who I I find more annoying. I don't know if it's Namona or Hop. Hop from Sword and Shield, bro. Oh, my God. Hop from Sword and Shield used to give me Ajita, bro. Top tier Ajita. But Namona, Namona's getting up there. I'm not going to lie. Namona is getting up there. And she is up. Wait. Where is he? Where'd she go? Hey, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Where'd Namona go? I don't know. Either way, you know what? Welcome to the Alpha Ronda Gym or Alpha Nada. Let me mention you as a challenger. Your name is Landshark. My name is Landshark. Okay, now in order to face the gym leader Tulip, you'll need to first pass the gym test. Here at the Alpha Alpha Nada Gym, that means working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice created by Tulip herself, of course, completed and you pass the test. The woman wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Just turn left after leaving the gym and you'll find the practice area right next to the door. Now get out there and have fun. Sounds good with me. Sounds good with me. So, an emotional test. What is this, like, psychology? Alright, so we gotta take a left, right? I'm guessing this is it. She's the late. Oh, here it is! Yo, what up, homie? What up, baby? What up, Dendra? Welcome, new kid. This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. Why is your battle study teacher here at a Pokemon gym working as your instructor, you guys? Well, I've been friends with the gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says, so we battled, and well, here we are. She's like, I hate it here. Please free me from this. <laughs> Look, never mind what I have. Point is, this is a chance to both get a workout in and help my friend when I don't have classes. The rules of emotional spectrum, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement, I'll, and all you have to do is copy it. Sounds simple enough, right? I think that sounds easy enough. Sounds fair to me, pal. Anyway, let's see it. Uh huh. Uh, yo, who's out here making these beats? Hold on a second. What? Look at look at the slow bro. I feel like if I had like a hairy almond, I'd be like doing too much. But my camera's blocking my cat's face. Okay. Recall something that made you angry! <laughs> like when someone stole my freaking snowballs! Snowballs are pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, a joyful smile! Alright, I got you. This is easy. This is easy, bro. Look surprised? Come on, I'm doing this with my eyes closed. Uh. I gotta do it again. They were like, we gotta do it for a repeat. Wait. Ah, I got him with the astonished look. Like, oh, ah. It's getting faster, but it's not that fast. Come on now. I don't think she used like the joyful one, and that was kind of easy. I didn't even have to press the Y button. I feel like that was like the easiest gym test that we had. That was awesome. I can't stop grinning after witnessing such perfect power of expression. That's enough of a warm up. Now let's really put those muscles to work with a Pokemon. Excuse me. You gotta keep moving. This is no ordinary battle. This is a workout. What do you want, bro? Gym trainer Emily. What's going on, Emily? What's going on, girl? Got the reader. Got the reader. Psychic, right? Yes. I mean, it's a psychic gym. Oh my god! 
loot. <laughs> oh my god! Get out of here. Was it a crit? Oh, it wasn't even a crit. Bro, okay, now I'm a little nervous for the gym leader. I'm not gonna lie. I think I overstepped. I overstepped my welcome, boys. This ain't looking so hot. Chalen wants to learn ally switch? What's ally switch? What is this? The user teleports using a strange power and switches places with one of its allies. This move's chance of failing rises if it's used in succession. That's actually not bad. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm not I'm not gonna do it. Curly uh Curly can get the fade. I thought Chandler had ghost moves, but he doesn't. I think it's his counterpart, Cerulege, because he's thing, he's dark and He's dark. No, he's firing ghost. He's firing ghost. He's not dark. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go, boys. This is this is looking kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I cha I, I challenged the wrong gym leader. But a battle, battle. <laughs> like, Great, I can hear your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight. I see you're getting tired, but you've got to hang in there. Time to start this up. There's a second half to this. What is going on here? What? All right. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Give me a joyful smile. See that? Uh, like, my cat doesn't even think. My cat doesn't even care. He's like, yeah, whatever. He's like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. I don't even care. I'm just here for the chopped cheeses, brody. Medichap doesn't even look like she's having fun. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I almost forgot what button that was. Recall something that made you angry. It's <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I need head to toe surprise. Okay. All right, pal. <laughs> All right, buddy. Become the embodiment of joy. I like that one. I like that one. There we go. I feel like the last one I'm gonna have to take her on, which is is like which is probably right now. Um. That was perfect. I almost lost track of who was teaching who. Don't give up yet. It's time for another battle. Hold out against all that lactic acid. Who is this? My goal is to grow strong and build muscle. Any tips? Yo, my man. You know what? I feel like he's one of those grandpas that's actually secretly jacked. He's like, you know what? You don't want the smoke. He's like, you know what? I don't. Grumpig is psychic and ground, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Grumpig is psychic and ground. I can hit him with a flower trick. And this man's going down. No, he's not. What? Um, excuse me, kind sir. Yeah, I think it's because of the psychic that negates it. It's not super effective because of the psychic. Metacham! Oh! <laughs> I don't like Metacham. I really don't. Battle. We use nice slash. I mean, I could use, I could use U-turn too. Oh yes, I jump kick. Okay, okay, okay. What the? Okay, all right, jackass. Um, I can't use autobacks yet. If I, I mean, I could. But since he's ice, it's not gonna look good. So I'm gonna use Chandler because Chandler's the next best bet. I should have U-turned actually. I should have U-turned into Chandler, but I didn't. So I'm gonna lava plume. It's because Chandler's a menace to society. Palma wants to learn Spark. What does Spark do? What is Spark? 
Yeah, give it a nuzzle for Spark, bro. Actually, Latrell had a... You know what? Latrell could have been super useful here. Ndidi. I don't know who Ndidi is. I think Ndidi's water? No. Is she psychic and fairy? I think she's psychic and fairy. You've got to be joking me, son. This old geezer... Is it special defense too? It is. It's special defense. Oh, I can clear Smogger. I was clear Smogger. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so, pal. No. No, no. But I am psychic. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here with that foo foo. You thought. Why is she so fast? Hold on a second. Yeah, that's not doing much now. Burn? No burn. All right, I'm gonna have to go with another lava bloom. She thought, bro. And that's why we kept. That's why we kept clear smog. Cause she tried it. She tried it. She really tried. I'm like, no, 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 no. Is there? Yeah. Oh, is there still psychic? Yeah, the steel psychic Pokemon is this guy, Metagross. Metagross is steel and psychic. I don't think there's any steel and psychic Pokemon. I don't think Metagross is in this game, though. I know Salamence is. Bro, really tried it. Hold on, can I heal up my Pokemon, though? Like, can, can we do this? Good job, you made it all the way through the ESP. You passed this test, no doubt about it. Spin over to the lobby staffer on the double. You have to report your passing grade to the gym test. Okay. You see, I thought that she was going to be the last trainer. That's why I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. I got to figure out what I'm going to be having for lunch, y'all. Because your boy's a little hungry. However, I don't know what I want to eat just yet. All right, where's she at? I suppose you're right. Okay, I'll get things moving here on my end. Wow, baby girl, what you doing? Let's keep the tagline simple. Naturally beautiful. And she got the heels, too. And order the, the new eyeshadow color, too, would you? Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. Thanks, your dog gotta run now. Chat with you later. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. Why is her hair, why is her dress clapping? I don't like that. I mean, she is pretty though, but still. Hello there, I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Well, I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra had nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. Slay, baby, slay. I must say you are a cute channel. Yo, Tulip, what you trying to do after this? Stop. Yo, stop it, Dulip. I swear to God. I'm sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? Not really. You keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as, as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Yeah, because we do. Appearance is equally important for both people and Pokemon. Ma makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. That is very true. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon beautiful. Listen here. Listen here, lady. Listen here, lady. You ain't gonna do that. Alright, gym leader. As you guys can see, there's like what Giraffe Grit I don't even know how to pronounce his name. He's normal and psychic. I don't think he changed typing. If he did change typing, uh oh, this is not looking good for me. No, he didn't. He did not. Oh crunch! Oh yeah, but then again. Your boy is ooh, not my defense. I think next Pokemon, I just might swap out. Oh, you turn out. I don't need to swap out. Oh, you turn out. Because it does damage. I feel like if I had Home Claws, this would be Gardevoir is Psychic and Fairy, right? Psychic and Fairy. Ooh, I wish I had Poison on me, but I don't. So I'm not mad about it. If they, she might have mystical fire, actually, she might have mystical fire. So here's what I'm gonna. Do. Mm. I'm gonna use flower trick because it's stab anyways. If, if she has, thing. If she has, oh, that's in gleam. That's not bad. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I should have U-turned. I didn't. I forgot that dark was weak to fairy that blows however bro i'll bring in sack boy and she ain't gonna do shit sack boy because sack boy got the gigaton hammer bro 
Not only that, I'm going to revive Swirly. I wish I had a max revive, but I don't. So we're going to revive Swirly real quick. And we're going to hit it with a Gigaton Hammer. So, Psychic, oh boy. Even though that wasn't a lot, she's not done a lot of damage to me. All right. She's not done a lot of damage to me, even though it's resisted. Okay, not anymore. Check this out. Gone. Gone. Finished. Finito. Gone. Done. Okay. Um, I don't know who she has next up. Here's the thing, though. Esperanza. I forgot the typing of Esperanza. Oh, no. Esperanza. I know he's psychic. I think he's psychic and flying. I'm gonna bring in... I can't bring in Palmy Or Palmo, because Palmo's gonna get folded. I'll bring in Chandler, actually. I'm gonna bring in Chandler because I don't know what it is. I don't know what Esperanza is. I know he's psychic. That I know. I'm thinking he's flying. He's gotta be flying. I'm a willow. No, I'm not gonna willow whisper. It. So what is it? Shadow Ball! That's not okay. Ah, oh, but we live because we're too Look my nuts. You know? If I terrestrialize, alright? If I terrestrialize, and actually, you know what? Who can ta Actually, you know what? We're gonna swap into Golduck because we can heal up our Pokemon. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough move, but it's gonna be a pro play. If she doesn't kill me, if she does, if if Esperanto does kill me, we're gonna dig. We're gonna be in some deep doo doo. Nope. All right, there we go. We're fine. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna heal up our Pokemon, primarily uh, Chandler and um, Swirly. I don't. I he might be able to live one more. If he uses Shadow Ball, he has Psychic. I don't think he will. Ooh, gold duck is not goat, yo. Goat duck, bro. Drop a comment. Goat duck in the booth, in the building. Um, yeah, Chandler. He's not living this stuff, and I'm not mad about it. Quick attack. What a jamoke. What a jamoke, bro. So he has quick attack, shadow ball, and psychic. That's one of the three moves that I saw. He might have Peck. Oh, yes. So he's psychic in something else, so that way it's super effective. I just might U turn, actually. Actually, no, I'm not gonna U turn. I'm gonna Night Slash. I don't know if I beat this, though. I do. Easy money sniper. Easy money sniper, boys. Forges is psychic in grass, right? Yeah, he's psychic in grass. I could actually not. Nah. I know he's psychic, or he's psychic in fairy. Either way, I'm bringing in Chandler because Chandler's gonna smoke him. Unless Forges has Shadow Ball. Oh shit! Damn, I messed up. I should have kept Swirly in. Because she's going to use the Psychic Terrasalize either way, so it doesn't matter. I'm dumb. Your boy's dumb. Your boy's acting a goofy, but I'm going to hit her with a Willow Wisp. Come here, my little Florgus. It's time for a makeover. You'll become a new you. All right. Oh, sure. Do live. You'll become a new you. Yep. I should've knew that. I should've knew that for the jump. But your boy was not paying attention. We hit the Willow Wisp though, so I'm not too worried about it. I really don't it doesn't matter. <laughs> if I had Hex, she would have got clapped. Moon Blast! Yeah. Okay, pal. Okay, pal. Let me tell you something real quick. Here's what's gonna go down. 
So here's the thing, right? Now, I'm using Lava Bloom. But unfortunately, actually, you know what? Since Chandler's not going to be doing any damage, we're going to go into a thing. We're going to go into uh, Sack Boy. Because Sack Boy is Steel and Fairy. This is literally going to do nothing. It's going to do nothing. She's going to eat that up like delicious. Check it out. Check this out. I still did a lot. I still did a fair amount of damage. I do that all the time. Alright, so I'm gonna heal up. That moon blast is killer though. However, however, if I terrestrialize as swirly, get rid of the dark typing. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot. But I'm just gonna brutal swing on her. Oh, my special attack fell, but that's okay because she's not sack boy's not thing. She's not special attack, baby. Get her with the brutal swing. Oh god. Stop hitting me with moon blast, bro. Is that all you know how to do? Mmm. If I hit her one more time, the burn might be able to kill her. I could be wrong though. Look at the brightness. Look at the brightness on my face. Yep, there it is. There it is, boys. Going. Sock boy brought it home. Cups that are rose. Skater skater. Get him out of here. There you go. Palmo wants to learn Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave isn't bad, but I'm not going to teach Palmo Thunder Wave just yet. We defeated Gym Leader Tulip. There it is. GG's. Your strength has a magic to it that cannot be washed away. 8,100 8, in prize money. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We Tulip. I lost the battle and your beauty rivals even my own. I can't believe it, y'all. I know. We're beautiful, baby. We're beautiful. You see the light? You see the light on us? You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big breaks elsewhere. But I suppose I need to work on myself a little more first before I run off and do such a thing. You have earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Landshark. Thank you so much, Tulip. I appreciate you. I love you. Wow, look at that. And she did it in heels on, too. That's balance. That right there is balance. That's beautiful. All right, so... With five gym badges, Pokemon up to level 45 will be easier to catch and will listen to the commands you give them. So we can use Biggie Backs now, all right? If you train hard, you'll be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. Psychic, that's what we need, baby. Oh my lord. Don't go uploading that selfie we just took to social media, okay? I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during our battle. Say less. I need to fix it up fast before my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. Farewell. You did splendidly today. So, we done did it, y'all. We beat the fifth gym leader. Four and five is down. So, with that being said, I hopefully there's not another cutscene. I swear to God. If I have to talk to more people, I'm going to lose it. Oh, Gita. Gita, what are you doing, baby? Another gem, gem leader defeated. Well done. Uh, Riker informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she meant you, I guess, as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic, fantastic skill you showed. If you manage to keep your momentum and chief champion rank, I would be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Oh my god, no! Alright, y'all, hold on a second. With that being said, y'all, we're gonna cut it short because I am not... I do not want to go against it right now. I really don't. So, with that being said, y'all, that is gonna be the end of the video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video that we had for you today. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you made it this far. And as always, y'all, as always, look at the light on our face because our future is as bright as the sun. This has been your boy, Lance Shark Rose, speaking. Treat every day like a Friday, and I'll catch you guys later, baby. Take care.